Hey guys, it's morning of day 10 and I just wanted to show you how great I'm looking because sometimes the video at nighttime doesn't really show up that well. Anyways, this is what I call the shadow of abs phase. Same thing, I just took this a minute ago. Uh, this means you kind of have abs and good lighting and this means you're about five fasting days or about one or two months traditional exercise diet away. You can see my back's getting leaner. My big waist though is really taking away from the aesthetics. My arms are getting leaner. My shoulders are super lean. You guys can see here. My chest is looking pretty good. But again, big waist. I have some fat on my arms. And this looks pretty good. I mean, I've got like striations. Striations mean like lines on your deltoids. When I get leaner, I'll have striations on my chest too. And even veins on my abs. That was crazy. When I got my first vein on my ab, I was like, I'm lean. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm doing really good right now. I'm at day 10, and I feel fantastic, much better than before. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, okay? Please subscribe. Bye-bye. All right, guys, this is just a quick opening to let you know who I am and what I'm here for. My name is William, and I just made this quick presentation so you guys know I have experience and that I have the ability to lose weight with fasting. So I always was heavy. I slowly fasted over seven months, got to this point on the right, and then from there to having abs, it took me another two months. And I was getting bored. I wanted to fast. I wanted to make a video to help everyone out. So I intentionally put on uh, 30 pounds, about 15 kilograms. That's the picture on the right. I basically look like that now. And I'm going back to the picture on the left in hopefully 20 days. So this is just who I am. You guys can see I got great results and I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. This is William and we are on day 10. I'm feeling fantastic. Really, that feeling I had two days ago when I was just feeling like death, that is completely gone. I think this is going to last until day 21. All right, let's go on to the long talk. All right, the scale says 79.46, which is 175 pounds. Hey, guys, and the first thing I want to talk about is the bin test. And the grab test. I got some great feedback on that. A lot of people said it was really creative and I've never seen it anywhere else on YouTube. I genuinely think I made that. All right, so let's talk about it. You guys may be thinking like, wow, he looks good. His abs are coming in. But let's see what the bend test does. So you bend forward. I've still got fat here and a big piece of fat here and even on my pecs. Let's see how the side bend does giant this is basically a christmas ham and i've got one over here as well all right so that is the grab test and the bend test all right now let's get on to the stats so guys my weight today is actually down i'm at my all-time lowest weight just by a little i'm at 79 and a half kilograms which is 175 pounds this is where like my friends and family all say i look the best and i disagree i look best at 165 all right, my day-to-day -day loss then from yesterday is a kilogram. I lost a kilogram and that's two pounds. My total loss is now 10 and a half kilograms, which is 23 pounds. My waist is up one centimeter, but let me explain why. Guys, if you have a big meal, like if you're lean, you have a six pack and you have a big meal, your hips are not gonna get much bigger. Your waist is where all of your food and water is basically stored, like when you actually consume food. So this is going to get bloated, and I had a fair amount of water today, so I'm just bloated right now. And I'm sunburned. I got a burn today at the beach. And when you get sunburned, that makes you hang onto water. It has water retention qualities. All right, but my hips are down zero, which is great. They're still at 96. 90 is when I'm pretty lean, so I've still got a big six centimeters to go on my love handle hips. Exercise was pretty intense today, uh, 14,000 steps, which was about six or seven kilometers, three, like four miles basically, just walking around, and that was all at the hottest part of the day. I went down to the mall, and I went to the beach, everything was cool. I'll put that on my other uh, video, a vlog about beach and mall. It was pretty cool, go take a look. And uh, water, I had a liter in the morning with salt, because I'm being careful with my salt now. And I had a liter at the beach. And I think it was soda water and water. All right? And hunger, guys, you, you're probably tired of me saying this. It's a zero. Because why? Yes. 
because I'm eating my body fat, guys. After day two or three, your body says, hey, this guy's dying in a cave or something. I'm going to just keep eating this body fat until he's better and can go catch a deer. My desire is actually lower too. Three. And guys, I am in Thailand. Some of the best food in the world is on this island. And I was walking by all the food carts. I went to the mall. Oh my gosh, there was some good stuff there. My sleep was fantastic. I slept from midnight to 7 in the morning. And I woke up naturally. I love waking up naturally with fasting. And guys, I've had some people asking me about insomnia. And this used to ruin my fasting. I'd be on like day 5 and just like... I couldn't sleep, I felt anxious, I felt terrible, and I was like, okay, whatever. I go make a big thing of noodles and then fall asleep instantly. So guys, why has my sleep been better this time? I think it's because I'm getting physical activity and I'm just pretty used to it, which I know isn't a great answer. Like, you guys can't just get used to it, like, because I have a lot of experience. But yeah, you just have to do some physical activity. And guys, uh, turn off your screen two, three hours before bed. Lower your lights. Like, I have some friends that just, like, keep their lights on full brightness until they go to bed. And I'm like, why would you do that? I turn on my smallest light in the room for about one hour before, and it sets me into a good uh, sleeping mode. All right. And yeah, guys, so insomnia can ruin your fasting. And my mood, you guys can see I'm feeling fantastic. I think from day 10, my backwards 10, to day 21, I'm going to feel equally well. And guys, I'm really happy with my results right now. I'll take another video in the morning to let you guys see, and maybe I'll drive fast tomorrow to get my true weight. Because like, whenever you have water in you, that's not really your real weight. But guys, look, when I lift up my skin, you can see the abs even better. Like, here's the one, two, here's the three, four. So they're definitely coming out, but my love handles are still pretty big. And I'm not gonna lie, even when I have my full uh, four pack, I have a little bit of love handles. So hopefully I can get the best body ever through this uh, video. And guys, my muscles are still looking pretty good. You do not lose muscle on a fast. I know this because I measured everything my first fast. My biceps were at like, I forget the centimeters, but they were at like 15 inches. And then after all my fasting was done, they were at 14 and a half. They'd only lost a little bit because it's fat. Like see guys, my arm, then I suck in the fat on my arm. It looks even better. This is the fat on my arm. But I lost like 20 centimeters, like 10 inches on my waist, and like a lot of my thighs, which are really fatty as well. So guys, and also I only lost like 2 or 3 centimeters on my chest. So fasting uses your body fat. That's how nature made us. That's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and let me know how my progress is going. My comments have been really low lately, and honestly, I'm kind of sad about that. I want to hear, hear from you guys. I want to interact with you guys. Let me know what's going on, okay? Bye-bye.